skyscrapers. Since they first emerged in the late 19th century, these incredible structures now appear in almost every major urban center on Earth. As the new symbol of economic power, skyscrapers have come to define our cities. Today, we will feature some of the super-tall and mega-tall skyscrapers currently under construction on each of the seven countries in Southeast Asia. Challenging the under-construction Morgan Tower, with 210 meter high, the peak Cambodia, topping out in the list. As part of a luxury integrated residential and mixed development, the peak Cambodia is a 218 high, 55 floor skyscraper that will dominate the vibrant skyline of Phnom Penh. The peak Cambodia comes clad in stylish bronze, a definite color of luxury. The two towers comprising about 500 units each are paragons of dynamic architecture, specially crafted to bring out the finest of the site and its surroundings. It will house residential apartments, office space, retail and F&B outlets, as well as hotel space which consists of about 300 rooms to be managed by renowned Shangri-La Hotel Group. The Skydeck on level 55, gives you the stunning view of Mekong River. Expected to be completed this year, the Peak Cambodia, will be the tallest building in the country. The Peak Cambodia is developed by reputable Singapore Oxley Holdings and Worldbridge Land Cambodia. Ho Chi Minh, the largest city of Vietnam. This mega city with a population of 8.6 million. Though the city is not dominant with tall buildings, however it does stand out with some skyscrapers that have attractive design. And home of Landmark 81, Southeast Asia's tallest completed skyscrapers with 461 meter high. Overtook Kuala Lumpur's Petronas Twin Tower in 2018. Adding in the skyline of Ho Chi Minh, another iconic skyscraper currently under construction is the Spirit of Saigon. A complex of 48 and 55 stories skyscrapers that rise up to 218 and 240 meters. The West Tower is 240 meters tall and will hold office spaces in the lower half and a Ritz-Carlton Hotel in the upper half. The East Tower is 218 meters tall and will hold luxury apartments. Staggering the cantilevered overhang design, symbolizing evoking two dragon heads, while glass cubes underneath it, signifying pearls in the mouth of the dragons. The two towers reconfigure an image of a two dragons looking the vibrant of the cities, which signifies the new vitality and development of Vietnam's economy. As part of the mixed development, the two high-rise towers which are connected together through a podium, Expected to be completed by 2023, the Spirit of Saigon will be the fifth and the sixth tallest skyscraper in the country. Going to city-state of Singapore, from vibrant city skyline, with modern infrastructures, to mind-blowing architectures. This city-state, is the perfect personification of the futuristic city. Blend with its dynamic economy. With a population of 5.7 million in an area of 523 square meters. Considering the limited land area of the country, residential and commercial building will be high enough to maximize its capacity. However, due to the proximity to Chani Airport, height for infrastructure were restricted, up to 280 meters. Though with the exception of the Guoco Tower with a composite height of 283 meters, Adding Guoco Towers and United Overseas Bank Plaza 1, another new skyscraper currently under construction in City Central Business District, will rise up to the maximum allowed height, the Capita Spring. The newest 280-meter tall landmark in Raffles Place with 51 floors. The integrated development houses fully integrated workspace solutions and lifestyle amenities serviced residences, and ancillary retail spaces, with tech-enabled workplace experiences and technologies, to enhance workplace wellness. 
Capita Spring will be Singapore's another green vertical city. The tower is designed incorporating the nature, with green plant and trees growing between facades. While the core of the building features the green oasis, a four levels of open air garden. Another amenities, at 100 meter above ground is a tropical garden offer a tranquil haven of winding walkways and lounges for relaxation and serenity. Capita Spring, will deploy various building features, to safeguard the health and safety, of its occupants and the community. Facial recognition access, contactless destination control system, and pre-registration for guests via Capita Star at work. Expected to be completed, mid this year. It was developed by Capitaland with a whooping cost of 1.32 billion US dollar. A new towering landmark of the Philippines National Capital Region. In addition to Philippines' tallest skyscrapers, Grand Hyatt Metro Center in Bonifacio Global City of Taguig. The PVCOM Tower in Ayala Central Business District, and Trump Tower in Century City of Makati. Quezon City, will be the home of the Philippines' tallest under construction skyscrapers. DDT Sky Tower. With structural design of 280 meter high. Taking designs, from the iconic designs of history's monumental structures like the monolithic obelisk, and a glorious step cigarette. DDT Sky Tower makes its grand presence as the highest skyscraper along EDSA. Wrapped in a sleeve glass facade, gleaming tower gradually tapers as it rises. Its structures elegantly culminating in diagonal, that slashes through the sky. It will stand on a 5,000 square meters land, and will have a total leasable office space of 115,000 square meters. Reportedly one of the biggest in the Philippine office space industry. Within its 60-story floors, are three distinct office zones. Low zone, 16th to 27th floors, mid zone, 28th to 42nd floors, and high zone, 43rd to 57th floors. Parking spaces is allocated to the building's 3rd to 13th floors and 3 basement levels with 1,122 parking slots above ground and 312 parking slots underground. The first two floors are allotted for retail space and the 14th floor will host a food court for the employees of the building's tenants. Envisioned to be an iconic landmark of Quezon City skyline, the tallest structure in Quezon City, and well within the top 10 tallest building in the country. The DDT Sky Tower will be PESA accredited, and is aiming to be LEED certified. Designed specifically to meet the stringent requirements of the outsourcing industry. Strategically located at the forefront of EDSA, and Mother Ignacia Street. DDT Sky Tower has direct access to public transportation hubs, and to the MRT Quezon Avenue station. The whole structure is planned to provide a high standard work environment. It is not just one of the country's tallest workplaces, but it is also designed with green features that make it environment friendly and energy efficient. Dominating the skyscrapers in Jakarta, Autograph Tower, will be the tallest skyscraper in Indonesia with 383 meter high, having 78 floors. As part of Thamran 9 development, Thamran 9, is a mixed-use development complex under construction in Jakarta, Indonesia. It covers an area of approximately 570,000 square meters with office, retail, residential, hotels, sports and entertainment facilities. The complex will have three office and apartment towers with a retail podium that connects the towers. Construction of Thamron 9 Tower 1, which is named as Autograph Tower, is expected to be completed this year. Autograph Tower is the first supertall building in Indonesia. It is one of the twin paired towers, the lower four floors of which will be linked by retail podium. The tower will have 72 floors above, and six floors below the ground. There will be a three-story observation deck and sky garden area at the tower. Lower floors of the tower are for office, whereas upper floors will be occupied by Waldorf Astoria Hotel. 
Upon its completion, the Autograph Tower will be the tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere. In addition to the completed skyscrapers of Jakarta. Going to Thailand. Challenging, Magnolia's Waterfront Residences Tower 1, Maha Nakhon and Bayok Tower 2. One Bangkok 04H4 Signature Tower, will become Thailand's tallest skyscraper. Standing up to 436 meters high, with 92 floors. It will dominate the skyline of metropolitan Bangkok. As part of Thailand's, One Bangkok Development Projects. A new global landmark destination, a fully integrated district in the heart of the city. Once completed, it will be synonymous with Thailand and will enhance the country's stature on the world stage. One Bangkok's crowning achievement is its 430-meter signature tower, housing office spaces with grade E offices, hub for arts and cultural activities, and a super luxury hotel. Set to become one of Southeast Asia's 10 tallest buildings, it will offer visitors panoramic views of Bangkok's skyline. It is also designed to provide an inviting, safe, and green environment. With 50 rai of green space from a total area of 104 rai, allocated as open space for people to use. With an area of over 10,000 square meters, it can be a hub for international events and Thai festivals. One Bangkok master plan prioritizes ease of accessibility and navigation, being directly connected to the MRT Blue Line at Lumphini Station. By road, One Bangkok features six access points, from Wireless Road, Rama 4, and a new direct connection to the expressway, which is in the process of approval by relevant authorities. Though persistent rumors of a restart mean that the Council on Tall Building and Urban Habitat have yet to officially place Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Tower on hold. No significant works has occurred since early 2018. As such, we are giving to the title to world tallest skyscraper under construction. To the 644-meter Merdeka PNB 118 in Malaysia. The 118-story mixed-used tower, which is also the tallest skyscraper currently under construction anywhere in the world, is set to contain department, offices, a hotel and one of the world's highest observation decks. In addition of Malaysia's super-tall building collections, five completed mega-tall skyscraper. With additional under construction including the Merdeka PNB 118. Undeniable, that Malaysia is the home of several mega-tall skyscraper in the world, keeping Petronas Twin Tower as the world tallest twin building. The building is designed with a mixture of diamond-shaped facades to signify the diversity of Malaysians. The glass and steel building, with its spire is said to resemble the raised hand of Tunku Abdul Rahman when he proclaimed the independence of Malaysia. It will contain a shopping complex, offices, and residential areas. The 113th floor will have a restaurant, the 114th to 117th floors will be occupied by a multi-story observation deck, which will become one of the world's highest observation decks. The top floor, 118th floor, will be reserved for a VIP lounge. On January 21, 2020, the concrete core of the tower reached 100th floor, at a height of 473 meters above the sea level, or 418 meters from the street level. Upon completion, the structure will become the tallest building in Malaysia and Southeast Asia, and the second tallest building in the world, next to Burj Khalifa of Dubai and beating China's Shanghai Tower. These are the tallest skyscrapers currently under construction on each of the seven countries in Southeast Asia.